All right, guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to UFO News this week. So the most recent thing um, came up a couple of days ago, and I do appreciate uh, Cameron reaching out to me and uh, reminding me about this. I did briefly see it for a second, but I couldn't put my mind on what I saw about it. But it basically says here, NASA released photos of towers probably made by aliens from Mars. Martian structures may be remnants of a civilization that once existed on Mars. Now, this is pretty interesting coming from NASA, knowing that in the 1970s, they had the photos of what was considered at that time the face on Mars, and they had the five-sided pyramid, et cetera, et cetera. And then they later went back, and somebody, did a, they had a 3D um, creation of Mars, and they said, oh, it was just um, hills and stuff like that, which I actually don't believe that. I actually believe, me personally, um, that it was actually structures on Mars. And of course... Um, they didn't go back and shoot photos again, but we'll get into that probably at another point. Because I think that is a topic I actually do want to touch up on just to get you guys information about the face and stuff on Mars. But anyway, with this article, I will put a link below in the description for this. Of course, it's got tons and tons of ads on it, but you guys see the There's only like a couple of photos here. Now, you guys see that here. Um, a series of photos from Mars indicate the presence of extraterrestrial skyscrapers on the surface of the red planet. And that is very, very, very interesting right here. Um, you guys see this right here? And zoom in just a bit. That is not a natural phenomenon. As we know, I can't remember who said the quote. You guys may remember. But they said nature doesn't create, uh, I guess, perfect shapes like and straight lines and uh, perfect circles like that. Uh, not that we know of. I mean, from what we know of a basic science. But this right here is not something that was formed by the wind. Or anything like that. So like I said, I'll put a link below in the description because I thought this was very, very interesting. And especially being reported by NASA. Um, it says, however, some speculate that NASA knew about this long ago, which I believe too. You guys see this right here. Like I said, with the face and stuff on Mars, they knew about this. I don't know why this stuff is coming out, but it does help us to get closer to disclosure of... Uh, not just UFO, but alien presence and life out there in the universe. The universe is huge. And I am a Christian, as you guys know, but I do believe that we are not the only things out here um, as big as this universe is. I mean, God may or may not have created it just for us, but I do believe there's other things out there. Maybe they're not as screwed up as we are, and he's just keeping them away from us. <laughs> so um, anyway, it goes on to talk about details with that. Um, also, it says, however, NASA is also investigating whether these towers were built as a way to collect material for other purposes. Um, I'm calling BS on that right there. Um, this right here. NASA knows what's going on. I don't know why they're trying to hide some of this stuff from us. But this is a whole article on this. Um, this is actually my first time actually going in depth and reading it. So I'm kind of looking at it as I'm talking to you guys. Uh, the first recording observation of the site was in 1877 when Sharpers found evidence of the presence uh, just southwest of the Martian equator. And then it says in 1956, NASA launched the spacecraft Minor 4, which succeeded in providing close-up views. See, they knew about this since 1956. And I don't even remember this launching of this particular vehicle or craft because that's interesting. Um, I'm going to have to go back to some of my history notes and look back at this. Um... Uh, with that, but that's that's pretty interesting with this. Um, and then the Viking 2, there it is. Um, it's a discovery of these sim um, these newly discovered towers similar to the ones photographed by the Viking 2 on Earth in 1976. And I believe that's when the face on Mars started. Um, pictures of those started coming out. I gotta, like I said, go back to my history and look at that. But if you guys want, I can do a video on the face on Mars and those structures. Because a lot of people have went in and broke that down. But a lot of people aren't familiar with it, so that's sometimes why I go back to things of the past. Um, just to keep people up to date, and there may be new information out there. So put that in the comments below if you want to see um, a quick video on the structures of Mars and the history behind that. So as we scroll down, it just kind of gets into more detail. But this, to me, was pretty fascinating, and I did want to at least bring this to you guys' attention because that right there is not a natural phenomenon by any means whatsoever. I don't care what they say. Um, they can... 
say, oh, someone computer generated that and stuff. They need to go ahead and release all the information and do some live broadcast, in my opinion, of Mars because that's going to help us actually see what's going on because they can do that. I mean, if their rover's really on Mars and stuff, and this is just getting into more advertisements and blah, 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 stuff we don't really care that much about. Um, but if they are actually on Mars, why don't you guys just do a live broadcast like you do with the, the space station? And then if something comes up, hey, just shut it down so that we can record it and say, hey, they shut this down because we saw something in the sky or we saw something on the surface or something. And they have the technology to do that, and they have the funds to do it too. So, But anyway, this is a quick UFO uh, conspiracies news update for this week. I just thought this was something to bring to you guys' attention. So put your comments down below of what you guys think about this. I think this is pretty fascinating and worth us to actually look at and put into our UFO Conspiracies archive. So you guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, share this with your friends, comment down below what you think about this, comment if you want me to talk about the face on Mars and stuff, and then we can go from there. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you.